it is, Perry Miniatures Agincourt French Infantry 1415 to 1429, kit number A050. This is a great way to start your late Hundred Years War French Army, a great base as you'll get uh, men at arms as well as crossbowmen and all that fun stuff in this kit. So uh, this is an example of what you can build and a little simple assembly guide. This box does contain enough components to build 42 figures, it has its bases, and some flags. So without further ado, let's go ahead and take a look at what's inside. First off are your Renedra bases. Um, this is actually a great addition to the kit. Some miniature kits outside of Perry don't come with bases, so this is just a handy way of uh, not having to source bases for your figures. However, um, a lot of folks don't like the Renedra bases. I don't think they're too bad. They're a little on the thin side. Some folks probably like the thicker MDF style uh, bases, but again, uh, the advantage of having this included in the kit is you don't have to source any bases. So, um, unless you don't like these 40 by 60 or 60 by 40 bases, then you know, uh, you'll need to source something. So, next up is your guide. So, in this guide, gives you examples of the color of the livery as well as what you can assemble uh, from the kit. You have uh, pikemen or spearmen, you have crossbowmen, you have uh, uh, guys with double-handed axes and uh, swords with uh, bucklers. In here are also the flags for your nobles, your nobles banners, as well as city banners. So that's also interesting. As well as a brief guide on how certain things are painted, um, whether or not it came in a solid color or a highly patterned, more ornate look. Uh, here's an example of the men-at-arms, armed. And then on the back, you also have Joan of Arc's uh, standard, the Oriflame, or Flam, and the standard of the Duc d'Orléans, um, car carried at the Battle of Pate at, in 1429. So, and also some of the more common colors. This is actually pretty interesting because some of the other Perry kits for Agincourt did not have this color guide. I would just, for example, base my color uh, of the livery uh, on the pictures that are included in this guide. So I'm going to go ahead and zoom in so we can take a closer look at the nobles banners. So you have Charles Delbray's banner. He was the constable of France, basically the overall, the overarching general for the French forces. Uh, and then a number of the other nobles that were uh, at the Battle of Agincourt. He even tells you whether or not they were killed. So all right, let's take a look at the city banners. So there's Rouen, Paris, Lyon, Toulon, and then the cross of Saint Denis, Saint Denis, carried by all French armies. All right, we'll take a look at the banners here. So here's Joan of Arc, uh, Joan of Arc's banner, the Oriflamme, and then the standard of the Duc d'Orléans. My French pronunciation is not so good, so forgive me for that. All right, and that is your guide. So you get three um, sprues of the standard French infantry. We're going to go ahead and take a look, a closer look at one of them since they are all the same. Let me zoom in here. So in this sprue, you have a number of torsos. Uh, it looks like 12, so six on the top and then six on the bottom. You have your crossbows here in the middle, as well as a horn, the... Um, uh, quivers for the bolts, all that fun stuff. In the middle of the sprue, you have a couple pavises. So you'll have six pavises that you can use um, to put in front of your crossbowmen. You also have some uh, double-handed uh, weapons here, uh, as well as a spear, uh, some long swords or army swords, more spears, and uh, there's even the bucklers right there. Helmeted head options, heads all around. So, in fact, let's zoom in even closer to look at the torsos and the heads. So, a lot of quilted um, armor here. It's a lot of chain as well. And we'll take a closer look at the heads. All right, and on the other side. Pretty much the same, just in different poses. 
and again, more varied hit options. So let me zoom back out. And again, you get three of these, so that's going to be the bulk of this kit. And uh, you know, it's up to you how many crossbowmen and uh, folks with uh, two-handed and one-handed weapons to build out of these kits. So, lastly, you get a men-at-arms kit. You've seen this in some of the other unboxings that I've done, um, specifically for the Foot Knights kit. Zoom in here. So you have your two-handed weapons, spears. Actually, one of this is for the banner, this longer one here. You do have a shield, number of arming swords, some sheathed, some unsheathed. And then the main course of this particular sprue are the men-at-arms or knights. So this sprue, as well as the uh, faceplate or visor. So um, the main impetus for this sprue is that this will act as the command for the box. Uh, and again, you're going to see a lot of these as we go through the Agent Core kits um, because it's their, your standard men-at-arms foot knight sprue. So. And there you have it, Perry Miniatures Agent Corps French Infantry 1415 to 1429, kit number A050. So this is a great core to your French late hundred years war army. As you can see, you do have a variety of options to build, crossbowmen, uh, folks with one-handed weapons, folks with two-handed weapons, as well as a command sprue for foot knights or men-at-arms that you can build as your command for this unit here. So uh, definitely a nice and versatile kit. Uh, definitely leans more towards the French because on the English side you would have bowmen. Uh, but yeah, that is it. So if you like this video, go ahead and click like. If you haven't subscribed to the channel, I appreciate it if you would. Click the bell notification icon to get notified of all new unboxings coming out of the channel. And then click the link in the description below to join our Discord server. That is the best way I can personally interact with you. Chit chat you about medieval wargaming and any other wargaming that we cover on the channel. So that's it. Thanks for watching. Stay tuned for more unboxings from Wargaming New Historical.